Hi guys, today I'm going to show you briefly which drawing apps I have on my iPad Pro. I have an iPad Pro 10.5 and I find that it's perfect for drawing on and doing any kind of art, on digital art on here, along with doing all my other bits and pieces like surfing the net. Um, it's not too big and it's not too small, so if anyone's thinking about getting the 10.5, I think it's adequate enough and very portable. So the first app I'm going to show you is Procreate, which is the most popular one. So I've got an iPad, I've got an Apple Pencil that I use with it, and it's well worth getting the Apple Pencil if you're going to be doing a lot of digital art. So in Procreate, you've got your layers, so you can have little different layers. There's your options for each layer. So it's a little bit like Photoshop, and it's got you know similar. You know, it's, a, it's built sim, similar to that. You've got your palettes, your colours. You can either have the colour palette in the main colour palette in Disc or Classic, and you can create your own palettes as well, like I have here. I'll do like a separate video on that. I'm planning on doing some Procreate tutorials, so I'm just going to briefly run through what's on here, and then I'm going to do separate videos on some tutorials. So that's your eraser. You can also use your finger. You don't have to use a um, stylus. Um, so the, br uh, you, the brushes, these are all the brushes that come with it. I haven't added any extra brushes. You can import brushes and you can create your own brushes. I'll cover that in another video. You can make folders to put your, these are some of the favorite ones that I use. So it's just a runner through the brushes see that you can see what comes with it, some textures which are, which are quite interesting. Um, so the wood one, so say if you're doing like, you know, a, a detailed illustration of a room or, you know, something, you can use the floorboards one, which is quite good. So you can really, you know, get some good effects for different things, crystals. Let me just change the colour to something more interesting. So this is the crystals one, which is quite a nice effect. Um, so there are your brushes, spray paints, touch-ups, retro, luminous. So you can add like flares, you know, if you want to, say if you want to do it in white, which is quite, so you can just add little you know, flares in there, and other bits in the water, you know, like the watercolour ones, let's do a different colour so you can see the watercolour effects, because obviously that's a popular thing, so you need to make the brush bigger, so if you press down with the Apple Pencil, you can make it darker or lighter, depending on, you know, what you need, how you need it to be, the opacity is here and the size is here. And then you've got, so if you want to sketch in here, so I'm on the HV pencil and let me just rub out some of this. Make a little space. So we've got the HB pencil here and then I just put that on black. So this is your HB pencil and you can use it on its side like a normal pencil and do some shading. So I'm pressing down on it really hard to make it really dark or you can just have really light shading like that. And you can, you know, obviously draw with it as normal. So it's really, you know, it has loads of different features. You can really get stuck in with this. And then you've got your, on this side, you've got your options. Um, so image canvas, share, video, it in the time lapse bit automatically records everything. So everything I've done in here it will record it and then replay it as a time lapse for you. But it's not a good quality where you can film on it and then upload it to YouTube. It just it's choppy and it's far too quick and there's no way of adjusting the settings. You're better off using the iPad screen recorder, which is what I'm using for this video, to record any sort of drawings on here. Um, you can use a third party stylus as well, but I'd recommend the Apple Pencil. So that's Procreate. Um, the next app I want to show you is Amazograph. 
where I do my mandelas in here. So this is the la last mandela I did in here. And basically it's like a mirroring effect. So if I'm drawing in here, I can add to this. So I'm only working in one, one section of the mandela to create this and then it's copying it on the other areas. So that's, you can create some really cool um, effects in here. So that's cool. And what I do, I export my mandalas from here into Procreate. I've colored them in Procreate before, or you can export them into Pigment. Um, this isn't my work. This is just one of the free things that are in here. Pigment is a coloring app, but it's subscription based. So if you're using, if you do color a lot or you, you intend to import work a lot, it's worth the subscription. I'll definitely do the free trial and see how you like it. And, um, you know, if it's something that you'd use on a regular basis, but yeah, I've colored them in here and I do recommend this for coloring as well. If you're into that, um, color fee is the same as pigment. Um, I won't open it because it doesn't go on landscape mode. And Art Raj is what I used to use a good few years ago before Procreate came about on here to mess about with. You can create stuff on here. It's got, compared to Procreate now though, it's it's very basic, you know. I don't like that, the way that looks, to be honest. Um, but you can draw in here, you can ink in here, you know. Um, so you can do things in here. There's a lot of set. So you can do a lot of things in here. You can import images for tracing. Um, it has layers as well. Um, but it's not one of my favourites. Um, but it's something I have used in the past. Adobe Sketch. Um, I was trying to log in here, but I couldn't log in. But Adobe Sketch is... Um, I don't know why it's taking so long. But Adobe Sketch is quite um, a nice little tool as well if you're doing some like sketchbook work and digital sketchbook work um, drawing. It's but it's not as intricate as um, Procreate. Um, it's similar to this one, uh, Adobe Sketchbook here. This is nice. I really like the interface of this. It's clean. It's neat. It's just nice. You can do layers so on the right hand side. You can see the layers that I'm just doing, and then you've got your options in the layers. Um, this is a nice little app. I really like this. So I'm using my Apple Pencil in here as well. So you can do the same thing. Put pressure, light pressure, you know, do some um, do some drawing in here. Then you've got your, let's have a look. So you've got your colour color options there to do some painting. It's just a really lovely little app. I really enjoy using this. And it's um, if you're quite technical and you do a lot of, or you do very detailed illustrations, this is excellent for that, for technical work or very detailed illustrations. Um, and it's just nice and sim. It's just got a nice simple layout. So this is your op opacity. So you just slide that up and down, and this is your size of your brush. So I just really like it. This is your smudge tool. So you can smudge that in. Smudge, smudge, smudge and a bigger paintbrush so you can just you know have a little play around it's got some other brushes and things here but yeah i like that it's one of my favorites and the next one is media bang that i want to show you this app is free to download and it's so worth it look at all these options that you're getting for free you know you can use this alongside procreate because what one one can do the other can't what well, sorry what one can't do the other can do so like procreate you can't type in text in there you have to either import it or write the text by hand this one you can actually put te add text in so you can take you know you can import from one into the other to do what you can and can't do but this is free so i would definitely download this have a play around and use it alongside procreate they're my top two procreate and medibang and um, this Ibis paint, I downloaded it. I don't know what I downloaded it for. I can't remember. When I open it, I'll open it and show you. There's not really much going on. So my gallery. Um, but I did download it for something. I can't remember all it was. But anyway, this is that. Um, but I haven't really done anything in here. I downloaded it for a purpose. So these are... 
all the options. So it's got some quite good options in here. I haven't really used it. You know, um, where is... So I don't know how to use it, so... So these are all the options. Another is free. Again, this one's free as well. So you could download this and have a play around with it. So that's the Eye Abyss Paint. Um, grid tools. So if you need some grids, this is free. So you can import pictures and then the grid will be on top of it and you can trace it or whatever you need to use grids for. Another one. This is grids as well. And that... And Photoshop, lastly, Photoshop Express. Um, it's just a very short version of Photoshop. You can just import any finished work in there, touch it up, resize it, um, play around with the contrast and, and color elements in there. Um, and then you can use it alongside your actual Photoshop. So, you know, there's, there's, that's the sort of options for that. That's not really a drawing app. It's just more of an editing app. So those are my drawing apps I have on there. Uh, most of them are free. The paid one is Procreate that I've paid for. Pigment subscription based, colour fee subscription based. And those two are just if you're into colouring or you want to import your own work and use their options for colouring. But they have free trials. So try out the free trial for Pigment at least because um, I do like that app. It's quite a nice little little app but I just don't use it enough to have the subscription at the moment but I've kept it on here in case I change my mind um, but Procreate, Medibang and Amazograph are the main ones that I use I like the sketch, Adobe Sketchbook as well so that's it for today that's my apps let me know if you've got any suggestions for any other drawing apps I might not that I've got enough already I've got enough already but keep an eye on my Instagram which is 75 Street, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching and bye bye